is the first of Simon. That's boring. Hey, we're back, and it's Bruce and Simon and uh, and John. He's our man. He's back. It's episode twenty-one, so it's another one full of seven. I'm not sure why that's important. Nah, it's important because my main man here, John. That's John. Is here to be better than Bruce, pretty much. Here we go. Nobody likes Bruce. Thanks. I've got plenty of people like me. Okay. Don't see it. Bruce HGTV. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, so what's the best show about tonight? Uh, your name is Simon. That's the one, sorry. Do a name for a second there. Um, <laughs> Completely blank. Tonight, though. we are going to go back to the brilliant cooking show. Yeah, we've had a lot of we've had a lot of good feedback on our cooking show idea. So basically, what we're doing tonight is uh, a different style. So uh, I'm gonna be doing they're expecting a lot of uh, swearing. Yeah, swearing from the little kiddies. So hi kids. You know, if you're a five year old, uh, keep watching. If you're, if, you're, if, you're a, if you're a if you're a five year old, please meet in John's bedroom and don't watch this video. And with that. Disturbing note. Let's start the film. What the? All right. Today on Devil's Pantry, we got two delightful contestants for you, battling it out in the kitchen to see who could be my protege. Now, I welcome our two contestants out onto the stage. All right. We got John the Monkey and Bruce the Potato. Now. What I want to know is which one of you can cook the best. Now, I heard that you're both fucktards. So what we're going to do, now take this because we're going to fucking need it. Now come on boys, go into the kitchen. Alright, let's get on with it. So you can use any of the ingredients as you can see out here, any of the utensils you see here. So fucking get to it, eh? So, basically what we're cooking today is uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of a vegetable, frozen veggie mix here. Um, I'm going to need a chopping board. There's a chopping board. Here we go. There's a chopping board over here. Um, so we're going to need a, a chopping board. We're going to chop up these pre chopped frozen vegetables. Which happen to... Uh, so yeah, there's, see that? How, that, uh, how that's nicely shaped? Well, uh, we're just going to grab the knife over here and we're going to start chopping them up. So we're sort of like, you know, we're doing our thing. Oi! Oh, what the fuck do myself? What the fuck do you think you're doing, mate? I'm uh, just, just cutting some vegetables you're up You're supposed here. to cut the fucking veggies in a fucking 45 degree angle. Didn't you fucking watch the fucking cooking special? Yeah, got it, got it, yeah, yeah. 45 degrees! Yeah, that's it, that's it, got it. Yeah, you fucking fuck. Alright, so today we're going to be making some chicken thigh cutlets with a dark soy and crunchy coating. So, first of all, we're going to cut, um, cook the chicken. So put that straight in there, and on the pan, there we go, let that sit, and get back to preparing the rest of the meal. Okay, so now that we're not we're done with our vegetables there, we're just going to chuck them into this, this here mug, so uh, we'll, just, we'll just sort of chuck them in there. Uh, and we're, gonna, we're, we're doing a bit of a spicy uh, vegetable meal today, so we're just going to use a bit of this, this is, uh, this is Kaitaya fire, which is uh, a bit of a hot sauce, so that's pretty, that's pretty nice, we're just going to chuck that in there. Just gonna, Nice and wet. You know. right, there we go. That's, that's nice and that's nice and hot. That should be enough to kill your taste buds. So we're just gonna sort of mix that up. Oh, nice one. Ah, so uh, all right. So yeah, that's the, that's the first one of our meals. I'm just gonna get some seasoning. So we're just seasoning it with uh, this spice allure uh, washing powder. So if we just grab a bit out of here and we just sort of sprinkle that in, that's got a bit. Of, that'll add a bit of flavour and a bit of the spice allure taste. So that's uh, that's what we're that's that's the main thing. We'll just chuck that in the oven over over on the side. All right. So the next bit of our meal is the side. So we've got our cut up corn here, and uh, we've got some dark soy sauce. Look at that. Good. So we'll just put that straight on there. Oh, look. Gen generous helping. And we put some. So a nice apple crunch to give it that extra crunchy texture. Let's do it. Just like that. Oi, mate! 
More fucking apple crunch! Alright! Alright! Fucking A! Alright? Yeah! Get that fucking apple crunch on there! So, uh, after, with our spicy vegetables today, we're still doing a bit of mashed potatoes. This is some microwave mashed potato. That pig adds a lot of flavour. So, uh, we're just gonna, gonna open up the microwave here and, and we're gonna chuck it in. And we'll put that on for about, oh, five minutes, I reckon. And, uh, you know, that, that should be good. Alright, so that's our, that's our uh, microwave potato that we've got going on. So, the one, age, one other thing we've got here is some nice cat food. It's slow cooked with venison, which is uh, really good for it because it, it keeps all the nutrients in. So, uh, this is just in case we have any cats showing up. So, look at that nice little tabby cat there. That's, uh, if, if any cats like that show up, we're going to have plenty of food for them as well. So, this will just, uh, this will just chuck in a bowl. <laughs> you know, if anything shows up, we, we are prepared for all sorts of circumstances. Alright, the chicken is nicely done now, so it can go back with the rest of the meal. As you can see, oh look at that, isn't that lovely? Now, just to give that extra touch and some extra flavour, it goes back onto the stove. Don't use a pig. Leave for five minutes. Bon appetit. So, uh, I've actually changed my mind. I decided that I don't want my microwave potato anymore, and I've kind of, you know, gone a bit lazy with that. Look. So uh, instead, we're going to put this in the oven, which should make much of a difference because, you know, oven, microwave, what's the difference? So just chuck it in there. Yeah. Alright, you fucktards, come bring me what you made. Alright, let's get John up in here. Come on, John. What the fuck have you made for me? Uh, this is a chicken thigh cutlet with a side of corn drenched in soy sauce and apple crunch. Looks like a fucking piece of shit. Let's see how this tastes. Oh! What is this? Tastes like a fucking piece of shit! Sorry, sorry, Chef. You're fucking disgraceful. Get the fuck out of here! Yes, Chef. I was, like, really nervous when I presented the food to Chef Lanzi and... Clearly he was not impressed and that's just my fault, but still, I think there might be a chance, but my food wasn't really up to standard today. So I was a little surprised that, uh, that old Lanzi didn't like John's food, but my food was just good. I knew I did a good meal today and I think this competition's in the bag. I'm, I'm pretty happy with, my, with the job I did today. You know, I think I'm, you know, I did a good job. Alright, let's get Bruce here. Oi, fuck time. What have you made for me today? Okay, so this is a uh, this is a vegetable in uh, a chili sauce with a nice seasoning and some microwave mashed potato on the side and a bit of cat food for the for the cats out there. That's good thinking, that is, yeah. because you see it opens up a whole new audience for your food. Oh, really? That's it. Yeah, we can make a lot more money off you. Oh, that fucking water. You know, good job, sir. Thanks, Chef. I think we know who's won today. Let me think about this. I have a very difficult decision to make. It's going to be tough, but I think I know who I've chosen. All right. John. Yes, sir. Your food was despicable. It was inedible, and it was presented like a piece of shit sprinkled with a bit of salt. Now, Bruce, your food was... Delicious, and your performance was great. However, John, I am glad to announce, is the winner of Hell's Kitchen just because he is not Bruce. Sorry, mate. It's just how the world goes. It's okay. You get the runner up prize of a knee in the nuts. Thank you, Chef. Now, John, of course, you will be given your own kitchen, supplied by Generic Kitchen Brands Company. Copyright. And you'll be given a star on the Hollywood Boulevard thing. So, good job, Thank man. You. Good job. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you very much. Well, it's only fair, because you're not Bruce. Yes, Chef. So, yeah. Go off and continue not being Bruce. Yes. I want Devil's Pantry! Yes! Dun 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 dun! 
Skype at meal time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not us. And we still might get a food. No, I'm just kidding. So that was our cooking special yeah. part two. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you got your little kids out of the room in time for all that cursing. Yeah. And I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing John on the show because he's never coming back again. Um, yeah. Oh, oops. Sorry, John. Yeah. Didn't mean to say that. Um, yeah, you know, in front of you. <laughs> um, so, we It's good to be back. What? Is it's it? Good be, it's good to be back. Yeah, we haven't seen you guys in a while. I mean, so, probably won't see you ever again. Because Bruce is tired. He doesn't know yet. And on that awkward silence, I think it's time... It's been a weird episode. It's time for the free candy bit. Yeah, so, free candy. Free candy and stuff. Comment, subscribe, like, free candy. And of course, we love that guy who is black and is also quite funny. And his name is... Barack Obama. Barack Obama, not Wayne Brady. Wasn't going for Wayne Brady, I was going for Barack Obama. Yay, Barack Obama. And John is dead. And Bruce is dying. Okay. Good night to you all. See ya. Hopefully I will stop talking like this Sorry. before the next episode. Alright, that was the plot twist. There will be another episode. Goodbye.